Quick Geeks Trucking. And you can't see them, but Midget's here too. We are on Wyoming. We're in Wyoming on US 16 Black Hills National Forest in the middle of the night after it snowed. 23 degrees out. And I'll be honest with you people, these are some of my favorite roads to drive on. Because it's nice. It's better than the interstate. A little bit of a thrill being dangerous. It's certainly a lot better than sitting in traffic in the middle of California. Yeah. Or Chicago. I completely agree. And I feel very lucky that people were backed up for two miles today in Knoxville, Tennessee. Because 23 tons of sugar spilled on the road. 23 tons of sugar? Yeah. Damn. And I'm sitting here looking at this, you know? So, for y'all that don't know, I've done cliff driving before, log driving, you know, those muddy log roads driving before, uh, driven the edge of the Grand Canyon before, went down 11% grade outside of the Valley of Gods, overweight. I've done a lot of iffy driving. Uh, what makes this one difficult is it's not necessarily the curves because I'm used to the curves. Um, the road could be slippery. It could have plenty of black ice on it. Ooh, 65. Let's speed up. But I started recording the video when we're more than three-fourths of the way through there, so... But seriously, who would go on an interstate when you can drive through something like this? I will take this over an interstate anytime. I will take this over city driving anytime. It is freaking gorgeous out here. Especially when it doesn't really add too many, too many more miles. And we're still going to be two hours early. Yeah. We're 53 miles from Grand Rapid. We're running parallel to the I-90, way up here in Wyoming. Um, when I first got in Wyoming this morning, we were on I-80, took 25 to the 18 to 85 to now the 16, and we're running parallel to the uh, to the Interstate 90. So we got a COVID load kind of important uh, we're hauling toilet paper highly important in a time to pandemic people prove that that toilet paper is the hottest commodity right now <laughs> so yeah we took it from California yeah yeah we, we left California and then I decided to come this way the back way so, you can see this down there on the breakdown lane. It's pretty much all ice. But, what's life without a little bit of excitement? You gotta learn to enjoy the small things. That's right. What rule is that? Rule number three, enjoy the small things. Enjoy the small things, that's <laughs> right. And that's why I'm driving with a midget. <laughs> Why is this guy? Oh yeah, also when you go down grades, try not to use your regular brake. Try to use a J brake and learn what it is, how to operate it, how to use it. Uh, when doing any kind of mountain driving, J brake will be your best friend. Who is that, a Mr. Officer? Nope. Uh, anytime I drive these back roads, I, I, I always wait for the county sheriff to pull me over and say, Boy, why are you here? But I never get pulled over, so it's all right, I guess. So at eight miles, we should be down at the end of the, at the bottom of the mountain. Is my guess. I'm sure some of these cars that are driving down this road are saying, "What the hell is a semi doing on this road?" <laughs> Or maybe they're used to seeing all these log, all the log uh, trucks. That's but I awesome. haven't seen one since I've been on this road. No. I haven't seen any trucks since we've been on this road. Nope. 
Hardly any cars, too. Look, Mama, no hands. Yeah, right. No, just that was a joke, people. I'm, my hands are on. I have my left hand on the steering wheel, my right hand on the Jake brake. Because I really don't need to be going 75 miles per hour. Let's slow down to the speed limit. Holy oh. crap, there's a semi. Let's say hi. Unicorn. Well, that's a tanker. That, that makes sense. Might be trying to go to one of the gas stations in town. Yeah, but I think there's an easier way to get to those towns than going through these mountains. Probably. But he looked like a local driver. Yeah, he probably is. That picture looks really good, actually. It really does. It looks better than in, than in real life. So Somebody's Brandon doesn't think people live out here year-round. I kind of disagree because I'm the type of person that would live out here year-round. Uh, I think they're all hunting cabins. He thinks they're hunting cabins and nothing major. Uh, they come and go. But at least the forest ranger has to live out here somewhere. I did see that sign going back about five miles back that said Bighorn Sheep Crossing. Yeah, we we're looking for the bighorn sheep. That would have been kind of cool to see them and actually have been see them run across the street. I was going slow enough too. I was only going 20 miles per hour down the grades and around the curves. See, this is another reason why I can't be a company driver. Most companies will not send you down there. They'll keep you on the damn interstate. You have no freedom to choose which way you want to go. I could never do this as uh, working for a mega carrier or a semi mega carrier. No way. No way. Uh -uh. They wouldn't allow it. Hell, my company doesn't even know where the hell I'm at. <laughs> they don't care as long as the load gets delivered on time. Yep, they don't. That's they, all they're concerned about. Yep, all they care about is the loads there on time. They don't care how we get there. But seriously. They call me up and say, where are you at? Because your GPS ain't working. We can't track you. That's awesome. I don't like being tracked. Wow, even high beams look better on the phone. limit change we must be coming to a town that is only there three months a year according to Brandon I just thought to show you all what we're driving through in the back hills of Wyoming. It's absolutely gorgeous here. This is the first time that I've ever been down this road. I'll come back down this road. Maybe not in winter, but, well, maybe not in summer with tourist season, but I don't know. I'll come back down this road sometime or another. I'm if sure. If we have the chance. If we get the chance, if we have the time. Added about an hour and a half onto the trip, but when you're an owner off, lease off, you got no one telling you where to go, what to do, or how to do it. That's when you can do shit like this. So, it's what makes the job worth it is being able to see the country from beyond the interstate. Yep. From the cities. I much prefer the back roads. So. Whee! Uh, so, 
festive in this part of town. They are. This is a red state part of the state, I'm sure. But anyways, people, if you got any questions for me or Midget slash Brandon, send us an email at Peter at Geeks Logic. Dot com again peter at geekslogic.com try to leave a comment i don't know why my comments got disabled so if you can i'm sorry just email me um and thank you for watching give a thumbs up share this video y'all be safe out there and happy new years and happy holidays it's not new year's is it now and merry christmas merry christmas merry fucking christmas